It's really a pleasure to meet you, Jenny. I've just heard so much about you. From Ryan? Yes, and from Justin, too. In fact, we were out at the ranch one night to have supper with Mrs. Marshall not long ago. I was hoping I'd get to meet you then. I heard that you and Justin had gone on to the ranch the other day. Yes, we did. Uh, Justin wanted to explain to his grandmother about the misunderstanding about the slant drilling. I'm afraid she didn't quite accept the explanation. Well, the directional survey will settle all that. Oh, I certainly hope so. Well, I better let you get back to work. No, I'm not in any hurry, am I, Ashley? Well, no, nothing that can't wait. Good. Five minutes, all right. I hope I see you again soon, Jenny. She's pretty, isn't she? Mm. Yes, very. Is she a good secretary? Yeah, she's terrific. Is she loyal to you? Well, I think so. I understand she and Justin are pretty close. Uh-huh. They have dinner together? Rena says they're sleeping together. Well, how would Rena know that? Rena maintains that Ashley is in love with Justin. Look, I don't discuss personal matters with Ashley. She's my secretary. As long as she does a good job, that's all that matters. Well, be careful, won't you? Jenny, don't get in the middle of a fight between Rena and Justin. Now, I know she's your friend. I know you care about her, but she's just not too objective about anything connected with Justin. Well, after what Justin has done to Kate, it's very hard for me to be objective about Justin. Look, don't take your anger out on Ashley. It's not fair. All right. All right, I'll give Ashley another chance. But Justin, that's something else again. Okay. Well, I know as owner of the coop, you're very interested in the entertainment that goes on there. Well, yeah, I'm interested, but uh, Billy Joe's the manager of the coop. I mean, he's the one who's responsible for entertainment. But you're his boss. And although my brother has the original heart of gold and very good intentions, he's, well, sometimes I think he's a little impractical. For instance? Well, for one thing, he still has his heart set on making Elena Decker a big star. Well, is there anything wrong with that? I've never actually seen Elena perform, but um, apparently she's very good. Well, it doesn't matter how good she is if she doesn't show up. Well, you have a point. Now, on the other hand, you have heard Elena's brother, Ricky. Now, he's good. And he's also very dependable. True, true. So, uh, what is it you're suggesting? Well, Mr. Parnell, I'm suggesting that you sign Ricky up to sing in place of Elena. So you're really serious about taking that job? Well, yeah, you, you said that you really needed some help around here. That's true, but they've got to have some experience. Well, I was a waitress once. You know, my aunt had a restaurant, and I used to help out there from time to time. And I, I'm a real hard worker. What are, what are you looking at? I've had the funniest feeling ever since you walked in here that I've seen you someplace before. <laughs> you know, everybody tells me that. I, I must have one of those faces, you know, that, that makes people think that. <laughs> that must be it. <laughs> so you really want to work here? Yes, I really do. Well, since applicants aren't exactly knocking down the door, looks like you got yourself a job. Oh, thank you, Jeannie. You won't be sorry, I promise. Well, when can I start? You can start right now if you want. <laughs> Is that what you're going to wear? Yeah. Isn't this all right? You better put this on. Or you're going to get it all full of grease. Okay. Uh, where would you like me to start? Um, you can finish filling up the mustard jars while I go back in the office and check over yesterday's receipts. Okay. Um, there's a menu there. You better memorize the prices, because if you get a rush, you're not going to be one of checking them every five minutes. <laughs> I'll be back before we open to tell you what else to do. Okay. Thanks, Jeannie.
Yeah? It's me. I took the job at the diner. 